Hey guys, Funk Roberts, and welcome to our body weight upper body workout. This is a strength workout, a body weight strong. We're trying to build some upper body strength here. And in today's workout, we're gonna do two separate circuits. So our first circuit, we're gonna do four exercises. We're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds rest. One after the other, we're gonna do two straight rounds. Then we're gonna rest for about 90 seconds, come back and do the next set of four exercises for the same amount of time. 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest, two rounds. So it's about a 20 minute workout. So let's start off with our first, hopefully you've warmed up first, you've watched the demo so you can at least see how to do some of the exercises. Our first uh, exercise, our hover push-ups. We start in five, four, three, get on the ground, two, one, here we go. So we're gonna get into a push-up, come down and then hover side to side. Okay, up, down slowly, side to side. We're gonna go a little bit slower here. Up, down, side to side. So you're bending on your elbows here. Up, down, you're gonna have some strength. Side, side, and back. Push up, come down, side to side. Keep those elbows tight. In order to do that exercise right, you gotta keep your elbows tight, all right? Yeah, that's a tough one. So again, guys, we're, we're trying to build strength here. So if this is the first time you're doing this, we're gonna do things a little bit slower. We're gonna squeeze. We're not moving as fast like we used we usually do in some of the other workouts because again, we wanna build some strength, some muscle. So we gotta move a little slower. So we're not gonna get a lot of reps out, but we're gonna make sure the reps count, all right? So that's why we're taking a 30 second rest in between. Okay, up. So now we're doing the supine, supine, supine row. So you're gonna squeeze your uh, collarbone, not collarbone, but squeeze your back together. Pretend you have like a piece of paper. There you go, feel that in the lats. So pretend, basically what you're doing is you're gonna pretend that like you're rowing. Keep the elbows tight, hold, hold, squeeze, and back down, good. So again, that's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. You gotta keep those elbows tight. All right, let's move back over and we're gonna do pike push-ups. So now we're gonna hit the shoulder. So first exercise was the chest. Second one was the back. I can almost feel a little bit in the back, specifically if you squeeze. This time we're gonna hit a bit of the shoulders. Of course, you're gonna hit the chest too. These are pike push-ups. So um, again, you wanna just try to walk out slightly. Okay, here, legs uh, wide, down, Push back up, down, keep your butt in the air, back up. Okay, you can even move your feet closer. You feel that more the shoulder, down. Gonna move back a bit, down. Good, let's do that again. Ah, Nice and slow, good work, wow. I can feel that, all right, let's shake that off. Shake that off, we're gonna do walkouts. So again, when you move slowly, you can feel like my shoulders, I can feel it on my shoulders right now, it's a tough one. And again, you want your elbows to be pointed out. Now we're just gonna do walkouts. We're not gonna do a push-up at the end, because we've already done a push-up. What we're doing now is we're gonna walk out, it's gonna keep tension on our upper body and our core. So make sure you have your core tight, okay? So you're gonna go down, walk out, and back up. Okay, so now a little bit of a dynamic movement. Again, you gotta be strong to do this. Push up. Keep breathing, core tight, all the way out. And back up. Down, just walk slowly, slowly hold, core tight. Push back up. Heels on the ground. Let's get back down again. Oh, okay. We're gonna go back down for hover push-ups. So again, We've gone through one round. We're already feeling the upper chest. We're already feeling the shoulders, right? So now you're gonna feel a little bit tougher. It's gonna be a little bit tougher now. So let's, what I like to do is I like to do some of this. One, two, three, one. PNF stretching. What this does is it gets your muscle, it's almost like an elastic. It gets your muscles ready to explode. It's amazing. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go down side to side. Keep your elbows close to the body, okay? Elbows close to the body, side to side. Keep your cats 
underneath you. <laughs> One, two, good. So we're hovering. Remember, down, side, side. If you can't go side to side, just go down, hold for a second, and wait for us to come back up. You're gonna have to really push up. Wow, all right. Let's get this back. Supine push up or row. So again, wanna keep your elbows tight, okay? Keep your elbows tight, and it's almost like you have dumbbells here. It's almost like you're gonna roll the dumbbells up. But what we wanna do is we wanna, we wanna squeeze our back together. Like we have a piece of paper that we wanna hold on to it, right? And that's what we're gonna do at the top. So you should feel it right here in your lats, okay? And we're gonna go nice and low. We're gonna hold, 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 back down, up, hold, back down. I want your, your, I want your head back. So you're looking straight up. Squeeze, squeeze, back down. Nice and slow and I want you to squeeze. Also squeeze your hands, hold them, hold them. Squeeze that back, back down. One more, up, squeeze, be on your elbows, on your elbows. Good work. Again, the back is one of those muscles that it's very hard to feel sometimes, sometimes. It's very hard to feel it during the back exercise. You don't generally feel back until the next day. Now again, if you're using resistance and some other exercise, of course you can feel it. But for those of you guys who've been doing gym workouts, it's like, wow, I'm really feeling that pump. Okay, we're gonna do pike push-ups. I don't like this exercise whatsoever. I'm gonna come this way here so you can see where my elbows are. So down, get that nose. Oh, let's get that nose to the ground. Slow, slow, slow. Up, up, up. Oh, that was painful. Let's do it again. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, yeah. Good. Come on, one more time. Slow, slow, slow. Four down. Wow. One more if you got it. Man, also feel that in the triceps, because we went slow. So funny how just small movements, and if you slow them down, it has a completely different effect than if we did that really quickly, right? You get a lot more out of it sometimes, specifically when you're trying for strength to go slower. So this month, when you're doing these workouts, you're gonna get stronger just by using your body weight. You're gonna see, here we go. So walk out, let's walk out and extend. Oh, good, but when you extend, please keep that core tight. Don't dip your hips. Keep your hips up, keep your hips up. Okay, do not dip them like this, okay? And when you're coming back, you really have to use your strength to push your body back, right? You gotta push into the ground, like you're pushing away from the ground, right? You're here, push away from the ground. Push away from the ground. Good work. Round one. Go get a drink of water, and I'll see you in 60 seconds. All right guys, welcome back. Round number two, four new exercises. Once again, we're doing 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds rest. Hope you guys are feeling the pump from the first time. Now we're gonna even double that pump in round number two. Four exercises, 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds rest. Our first exercise are close to wide push-ups. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, so close right here. Shoom, and then come out wide. I want you to go slow. Not fast here, okay? Still lead with those hips. 
Hips down first, then your nose down second. Slow. You can even go a little bit slower here. One, two, one, two. Let's go two count, ready? One, two, one, two. Out. One, two, one, two. Good, good work, all right. Snow angels, let's stay on our front here. But again, so that first exercise, we hit the chest. We hit a little bit of the mid chest with the close and triceps. And then of course, a little bit of the outside outer chest, but again, outer pecs, but again, everything gets, get, gets worked, right? There's not one that just isolates one side. All right, so we're gonna do some snow angels right now. We're gonna hit the back. Breathe. We're gonna go up. And then we're gonna do these right here. Slowly. So you're getting rear delts, you're getting my traps, I'm getting my lats, I'm getting my rhomboids, I'm getting the lower back. And if you want, you can even put the legs out too. You can even put the legs out too. We're gonna keep going. Keep going. Up. Ah. Good work. Keep going. All right. We're doing tricep builds. Tricep builds. So again, this one, it's like plank builds in your tricep, right? Tricep builds. Here we go. And three, two, one. Here we go. So we're here, up, and back down, right? So we're up and then down. Up and then down. Up and then down. Good. Just on your tri, you're on a plank here. Your feet are together. Down. Up again. Ah. Come back down. One more time. Oh. Good work. All right. Good job, guys. Okay. So again, if you want, you can go on your legs, but you don't have to. Okay. This is going to be a cool one. What we're doing now next are bicep squeezes. And we're gonna do this from the ground. So we're gonna stay on our knees here. And this is more about isometrics, okay? We're isometrically gonna squeeze our biceps and get pump as much blood into it as possible. But again, this is a great, um, you know, right here. Okay, so when you squeeze the biceps, squeeze little pulses, one, two. So you gotta make sure that your, your fist, you've got a very strong fist and you're squeezing both at the same time. Keep your elbows tight to the body. Squeeze, you can, even, you can even turn it like this, but this will be a little bit more chest. So just squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yeah, there you go. You know, it's so funny, isometrics, you gotta, you gotta really practice that, right? So the more we do this throughout this month, throughout this phase, the better you're gonna get at that. Because sometimes it's hard to focus. But now, next time we do this, we're gonna have mind-muscle connection. But let's get back down. We're gonna do some uh, uh, close to wide push-ups, okay? Close to wide push-ups. I, lo I love teaching. And I love just, just being able to do new workouts that really help the body. Okay, here we go. Close, wide. I want you to go all the way down, all the way up, right? All the way down, all the way up. Wide, all the way down, slowly, all the way up. Okay, guys, I want you to go slow. Count of two, maybe two down. One, two, one, two, good. One, two, one, two. Outside again. One, two, oh, one, two, good work. Good work, okay. Snow angels, once again, sides good here. Perfect, okay. I feel that in my chest now. I'm starting to feel the biceps now too. You know, sometimes what happens is you do the exercise and then you get the residual effect. Happens a little bit after. It's like, wait a minute. Why am I feeling that now? Yeah, wait till tomorrow. You can see guys, you can definitely get stronger using your own body weight. All right, let's get up. And I want you to go. So if palms are down and it's like back in the day we used to make snow angels, or you could actually make the snow angels, right? Because now what we're doing is we're moving a little bit more shoulders, 
And because our legs are up and our, our uh, body's up, you're hitting the lower back. Now, if you have back problems, keep the back down. Okay, and if you have back, even more back problems, just stay, keep your chest low and go side to side. Okay, it's not something that you wanna play with. All right, tricep builds. Final, second final exercise. Again, for some of you, just not just uh, being on your knees may be good, right? Not, not uh, extending to the plank. But we wanna get to the point where we extend to the plank, right? Because we wanna get stronger. So core's gotta get strong and uh, triceps and shoulders. So let's do this now. Here we go. All right, so you're on the ground. Up, back down, good. Up, down. Exhale on the way up. Don't hold your breath. Oh, good, keep going. Yeah, oh, gets a little harder now. Up, back down. Triceps, shoulders, ah, yeah. Probably got one more, I gotta go to my knees for this one. Ah. Oh, that one hurt, man. That one hurt. All right, last exercise. Let's get on the ground. Actually, let's stand up for this one. Let's stand up. You can stay on the ground if you want. I'm gonna stand up, see if I can get a nice, better effect here. Okay, What's it? like I said, we're squeezing the bicep. I want you to connect your mind to the bicep. Just think about your biceps doing the work here, okay? That's why isometrics is about, a lot about my muscle here. Good. Keep those elbows at 90 degrees. Right, look how far up now. 45 degrees are my hands, right? We just wanna keep that. Just a little pulse. Biceps, squeeze. Yeah, now I'm feeling that squeeze. Squeeze, bring those fists together. Squeeze and hold now, hold. Let's hold that, hold that. Hold it, hold it. Good work, good work. All right, there you go guys. Upper body's done, great workout. Again, we don't have to go crazy. If you wanna do that again, you got a little bit more time, go for it. But the key here is we want our body to recover. So get some water, make sure you do the abs at the bottom, and then make sure you stretch out your upper body. Stretch out the chest, stretch out the triceps, and stretch out your biceps so you don't get sore next time. I love you guys, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next workout.